Gonda, you have prepared examples uh, for us about different assistive technologies. And I will now invite you to tell us more about these examples and also describe us how did you use some of these specific mm -hmm. tools just to give our viewers a little bit more information about a specific topic? Thank you. Thank you, Edwina. Well, we always started out with the needs of the key of the of the pupil. And this is always very special and very individual. For example, I remember a boy who had muscular dystrophy, the type of Duchenne that only affects boys. And his range of movements became more and more limited. But within this limited range, he was very accurate. So he had no chance to lift his hand on his own. So he had a wrist and a support for his uh, lower arm. His arm rested in this support, which he could move. And then he used a mini keyboard that was really small. He had a magnetic pen in his hand. And so he needed very little force to activate the keys on this keyboard. Another keyboard that's used quite frequently in our schools is this uh, so-called Klevi keyboard. Um, it's a very stable keyboard. You can attach it to any computer, basically. And it's the specific features is that the keys come in different colors. So vowels are in dark blue, consonants are in lighter blue. You also have a liquid protection, a very thin um, acrylic sheet that's placed above the keyboard because many of the children with cerebral palsy, for example, have the problem of drooling. You know, they cannot control their saliva. And you know the problems when liquid comes into keyboards, not good. Um, or you could use a key guard, which would be um, from a type of plastic with holes for each keys. For example, when a child doesn't have the accurate movement to hit the single keys, it prevents from slipping and also um, decreases the frustration of always hitting something that's not desired. Um, another example would be a very large and very stable keyboard. For example, for persons with um, um, hypertonic or um, acetoid cerebral palsy, persons who cannot control the movements, but have enough control to hit a real big key. Also for persons who use a head pointer, that would be a gear you wear it around your head, either with a stick coming down from your forehead or from the height of your chin. And very accurately, this person would now be able to hit the desired key, which she or he could not do with a standard keyboard. And then we know key guards when you use, for example, um, letters, a letter board or an alphabet board or numbers or either or a communication aid. Um, it can be placed on top of the iPad and the person just uses it instead of um, a keyboard.